Hello Aries the Ram, I am Noel with followtheplanets.com, also on Instagram and Facebook. I read astrology and tarot and uh, we have a lot to talk about. I am action based so please get uh, a notepad out, also your calendar. I do jump around a little bit and um, first we're going to talk about the eclipses this month in June. June 5th we have a lunar eclipse that's a full moon eclipse and uh, this moon is shining light on your ninth house in Sagittarius. So, um, so something is coming to an accumulation, an end, uh, something's being completed or exposed where um, where where it's something about the big picture something about philosophy religion law um uh let's see um it's about um higher education it's uh it's about wisdom so, so something's coming to a full an end in this area and this one is a difficult eclipse because there is a conflict in how you want to take action and this is by your ruler Aries Mars how you want to take action um, in in an area of spirituality um, an institution or something creative so this this there there's some sort of conflict that's happening that that between this expansion of of or this this ending of what you want to go on about the whole big picture and and something with an institution or spirituality and what I'm going to say what you should do to help you during this conflicting time is to get healthy eat right get a daily functional schedule down stick to it um, really get get your ducks in a, in a line and and have all, everything really organized organize your computer or your paperwork or things like that get get things organized that will help and listen to my uh, video or watch my video on eclipses on what not to do what to do and what to expect and then we have a solar eclipse this is a new uh, new moon so it's a new beginning eclipse in your uh, it's in your fourth house of home. It's in Cancer. So anything that has to do with something domestic um, is what you want to have a new beginning for. And um, and this has to do with family, um, your security in your home, self-care, emotions. It's feminine. It's, it's about your mother. Um, so this new beginning of what you want in these type of, types of areas, a, a new home, um, there, there's, there's going to be some problems with that because Mercury is retrograde in that same area. So you don't want to sign a contract. If you're redoing your home, you don't want to sign a contract with somebody new. You can sign, you can move forward if you're you're getting a bunch of work done in your home with somebody you worked with before that's okay but but somebody new you don't want to sign a contract you don't want to sign a new lease you want uh, you if you have to move forward I know you Aries you're you, you don't want to wait you're impatient you want to get going you want it your way and you're gonna force yourself through it well, you know, that could bite you in the end uh, because uh, followed my advice, it, sometimes it's better to wait things out. You know, that's, what, that's it, the ebb and flow of life. You know, that is what life is. No wind to hold them. <laughs> No when to fold them. Okay, no when to walk away. No when to run. All right, that's that's that could be a life lesson of yours, Aries. So, uh, because if you do go forward and you don't want to wait, um, things could come back. So, read the fine print. Don't sign a year lease. Make it month to month. Right? You know, uh, make it open ended. 
because uh, things can really change around. And then we have another eclipse. So lots of shifts. Lots of shifts are going on. Uh, uh, July 4th, we have another eclipse. And this one is also lunar, full moon eclipse. And this is, has to do with your career. So something uh, accumulated in your career. Are you finishing a project? You could not. Uh, you could be finishing work at at a job. Um, your your project could be, you know, revealed and shown to to everybody in the company. Um, and the good thing about this, although Mercury is still retrograde during the July Fourth uh, um, eclipse, Mercury's retrograde in your home, so. There's still a lot to be reviewed, redone, reanalyzed, re, re, reorganized. Everything in your home has to be redone here. But the good thing is, is that in with this, with this work full moon, something coming to an end at in your career. Uh, it also is your reputation in the community. It uh, is something with authority, long term, something's coming to an end and a full with a public image. It has to do with a masculine energy. So um, it has to do with some sort of structure, well-defined structure, tried and true. Um, so that coming to an end is in harmony with something with your income something with how you earn money, um, your work ethics, your routines, your possessions, and, and, and this, this moon on what you care about is really in harmony with how you want to propel into the future with this income. And it's very grounded. It's a grounded building energy. Um, so that is a very good thing about this. And I also, with this eclipse, I want you to look for an opportunity in this area um, of, of income, possessions, how you earn money, your work ethic, your habits, your routines that is grounded, but yet future technology-based, future science, humanitarianism, uh, groups, um, um, it's unattached. It's 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 not it's not uh, emotional. But look for an opportunity in um, in in this. Um, let's see this a, a creative life force out of your home, out of that domestic, again feminine feminine security, um, uh, your home life. Um, your mom, your family. Um, look for an opportunity with those two things. That income, home, something grounded, something emotional, how you want to expand into the future. Now, we're gonna move to your, your, uh, your ruling planet, Mars. The, the god of war, action, energy, spontaneity, leadership, drive, ambition. Um, it can be aggressive and patient and forceful, this planet can be. So what's going on now is that this is in the area of your 12th house in Pisces. And uh, Pisces is water, Mars is fire. So they don't, you know, that Pisces is going to put out that fire but I am excited for you, Aries, because you are going to get your ruling planet in your sign for six months. This is very exciting for you. You're gonna be in your element, and that's why this is so important for you to release the baggage, that's with this opportunity that Pisces is giving you. So Mars moves into your sign on June 28th and it will stay there until January 2nd. And the reason it's gonna stay there that long is because it's gonna retrograde during that time and which we'll talk about later. But our focus right now is on what to do 
gonna give you three things to do while Mars is in in this Pisces sign and uh, the ultimate goal of these th three things is to heal and let go letting go it's about about an ending okay what what do you need to let go so that uh, this Mars energy can get into your own self element um, so think about how to heal how to create action physical action and healing first of all in spiritual spiritual action so um, you're very, you need Aries, you need to move your body and you need to work out or you need to join a sports team or something. It's very important that you are physically active and this time get active in spirituality. Try some yoga, go get out into nature and go walking and camping or hiking. Um, I used to be a long distance runner. I used to meditate while I ran. Um, you can meditate at home. Um, there's so much online that you can do to help you be active in meditation. The second thing is get creative. This crea being creative is a very healing and releasing way of, of letting things go. Um, get into that cr what you want to create and being creative is art um, drawing painting music uh, picking up that instrument singing dancing doing some artistic work or something uh, that you love to do that that expresses your artistic energy on the computer you know it can uh, you want to build something um, you love working on cars that could be your artwork really spend time um, with that and getting creative um, and then the third thing is um, being involved in an institution institutions include hospitals the government uh, religion um, schools psychology so getting involved in that again for the reason of healing um, so, so those are the actions you want to take. If you could do some or all of that every day until the, 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 up to the 27th more power to you. Now we're going to talk about, let's see, um, we're going to talk about Venus. Venus has gone retrograde and will go direct on June 24th. And... Um, so, uh, it, with Venus retrograde, watch my video on what to do, what not to do with Venus retrograde. Um, you want to really review, redo, rethink, uh, read about, um, how th there could be a new way for you to express love. Um, and you don't... You don't want to find new love. Sometimes you could go back to a partner that you were with before when Venus was retrograde, but you want to move forward. If if you're not doing that, you want to you want to review and read about love and and beauty and artwork and pleasure and review how you can update your style of giving that how or how you want to receive that kind what kind of love will work better for you to receive with venus that that's that's what the planet is about is about how you want love how you enjoy that pleasure how can you charm the opposite sex so because when it goes uh, direct it's going to be about communicating love um, you, you, when Venus goes direct, you could meet two different people that you fall in love with. Um, Gemini is about twos. Um, so moving, that's just a note of warning. So, so look for that. And I had you take some actions, um, 
and I, uh, in April, so April 9th, you were to take, if you've been following me, take notes what happened on April 9th, and then look between June 19th and June 30th, and write everything that you do down those days, and see or, or review all, all through that time what comes back from April 9th and what happened on that day and what comes back with love, um, artwork, some sort of communication that comes back again on, on those days. Um, in July, I have more action items for you about Venus. Now, um, we're going to move to Mercury. Mercury, um, Mercury is in retrograde here. Um, Mercury's in retrograde. Let me see in in that in that house of home. So, it's. Uh, read my video about what to do for for uh, when Mercury goes retrograde and what not to do. Now, uh, you could be talking to old family members that, that might come back. This is really about your home, roots, anything domestic. It's a feminine energy. It's about your mother. It's about self-care, emotions, and security. So, um, with, with Mercury retrograde in this area, it's it's direct until June 18th. It goes retrograde and then it goes direct July 11th in Cancer, all in Cancer in your in this domestic area. So it's time to review, revisit um, talks and things with your mom and, um, and your family. Um, it would be good to go back to that. Um, and then um, there's some notes I want you to take about Mercury. There's several dates I want you to take notes on. So I'm gonna tell you what they're all about. So first, on June 4th, I want, there, there's an opportunity out of this home domestic world, okay, in communicating this with uh, something that's very grounded um, but will propel you into the future through technology or science humanitarianism um, it's unattached but it's grounded and this has to do with your your income your possessions um, your work ethic and your routine there's an opportunity uh, and it's talked about on June 4th, and it's gonna be talked about again. So write down what's talked about that day, what you're doing, what you're thinking about, what you're writing. It's gonna come back again in a big way on June 30th. So I want you to write down again what's going on because it, it comes back three times. You got three times to learn this. It comes back again um, in July. but. I want you to write down between June 30th and Ju July 3rd what talks are going on and on, on specifically on June 30th, there could be some sort of expansion on, on these talks it, it, where um, things are, are more assertive, when to move forward. Um, you could get a sense, some uh, like a, an identity. It's like an identity, a creative life force with this communication out of something domestic with the opportunity propelling into your future in a grounded way and how you earn income, your possessions, your routine. Okay, but you don't want to take action. Per perhaps this type of energy is ass it's assertive perhaps a male energy but but it's um but you you don't want to take action what you do want to do is brainstorm write things up think things over rewrite review research because on july 20th and 22nd that's when the talks come and you can make this more concrete and move forward with a solid, a more solid plan. 
also more notes to take. So June 1st, I do jump around, sorry. Lots going on. June 1st, take notes on what happens that day. Or if you want to initiate something to happen that day with talks uh, and, and you want them to come back again. A uh, lot, of, lot of stuff keeps coming back, all this retrograde. So, um, so what happens... You're gonna you're, you're gonna take notes on what happens on June 5th because in July July 9th to July 14th it could come back again and again talk about it, it's about communication what's ta who are you talking to what are you talking about what are you thinking about what are you doing each day just take notes on that on June 1st okay now we're going to move to um, Venus retrograde. So Venus is retrograde. Oh, I, I already talked about Venus retrograde. Okay, all right, Aries, we're done. Thank you, Aries, the Ram. Hang in there. Uh, some ups and downs. That's life. That's uh, that's what I help prepare you for with astrology, so you know what's to come make things a little smoother, know when to act, know when to not act, and uh, make life easier, right? All right, thank you, Aries. Best wishes.